Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. We are joined today by David Hudson, Assistant Professor of Law at Belmont University. And how did the government's response to 9-11 affect free speech and civil liberties? The other provision of the Patriot Act, and really the only provision of the Patriot Act that squarely reached before the United States Supreme Court, at least the only provision related to the First Amendment that reached the U.S. Supreme Court, that was Section 805. And to understand Section 805, we have to go back to the 1996 federal law the Anti-Terrorism and Death Penalty Act of 1996, something that was signed into law by President Clinton. But in that law, it, it said no material support or resources to terrorist organizations. Well, in the Patriot Act, they amended that law to prohibit so-called expert assistance or advice to this material support definition. Well, according to the Humanitarian Law Project, it presented and restricted core First Amendment speech because the Humanitarian Law Project wanted to provide aid to the Kurdistan Workers Party and a group called the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam. Um, And ultimately, the Humanitarian Law Project challenges Section 805 as amended by the Patriot Act in a case that ultimately reached the United States Supreme Court. And the the arguments were this, that the ban on, quote, expert advice and assistance was unconstitutionally vague in violation of the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.